Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now my sister made some pulp. Like the, this is palm sugar. Like the this is the palm fruit. Pulp of the palm fruit from which you get palm oil, palm sugar. So she painstakingly prepared this dish, extracted the palm pulp from the fruit and gave them this because they wanted to make palm fruit fritters, which is commonly known as talet bora. Okay, so let's get started with the recipe. You can see this is the this is the palm fruit pulp. For that we will need a cup of palm fruit pulp. So I will be using two cups of it for the recipe. So two cups of palm fruit, then we will need grated coconut about one fourth cup. So I am not going to grate the coconut, I have pre-frozen coconut that I freezed in the deep freezer. I will just chop it and then put it as well as possible. Adding up about around 85 grams of coconut minus some pieces. Okay, so this is roughly I need to chop as much as I can do. It's only about it's a little bit of half cup, no, about a quarter cup. I am adding three quarter cup of flour that is about half a cup. Oh, this is salt! Oh my god. <laughs> that was salt. Okay, so half a cup of all purpose flour. Then I have to add two tablespoons of rice flour. So one tablespoon, two tablespoons. That is done. Sugar is. It says one third or half a cup. So I'm going to put half a cup of. No, I won't put half a cup of sugar. I'm going to put one fourth cup of sugar and. A bit of jaggery. I have jaggery, which will give me a little bit of molasses flavor. Okay, this is this jaggery is made from palm sugar, so I am adding flavor to flavor. So I am also chopping the jaggery as fine as possible. Can you stay? Okay. This is how it looks like. Okay, this is jaggery. Depth of flavor, awesome. So I will be adding not all of it, but some of it. <laughs> not a whole piece of jaggery that I chopped. I will be saving around this much. So I added three fourths of the jaggery. I added a bit of extra sugar because I am going to add two things on my own, of my own. So this is semolina or suji. I will be adding 1 foot cup of semolina. The semolina also gives a little bit of texture after it's been fried. So 1 foot cup of semolina. And with my sister, who did the um, pulp thing for me, helped me out. She said, told me to add 1 banana. So I will be adding a small banana to it. But this one I tasted, this is not sweet. Bananas are not sweet, but this is not sweet. I don't know why it works out, that's why. I added a bit of palm sugar. She told me to use my hand to like, mix it up. And then I need to add one piece of sugar. And I will mix everything. I will mix everything. If it needs a little bit of water, it's not water. I will be adding milk. So let's try to mix everything up. To the best possible capabilities. I have to go with my hands, I think. And to feel the food while I'm cooking it. But I'm not using my hands right now because I need to adjust and to wash and other things. Cheers. 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 To add a bit of salt, so about this much. How much did the recipe say? She sent me a recipe also. Like she wrote the recipe and sent me. Pinch of salt. Pinch of salt. Okay, that was more than a pinch. So let's see. Okay, I'm going with my hands because I need to feel the texture. How is it? And adjust if needed. This needs a bit of flour. This is why I didn't want to use my hands. 
I don't think I need to leave. In the office. I need to thicken it. I'm going with about half more. No, not half. Let's add first quarter cup of flour. So this is quarter cup. I'm using all purpose. It has a little bit of bitterness. Then I add the meat out of the flavor of the Sweet, a little bit of salty. I can taste the salt. Just leave it around. Give it a like complex flavor. And then at the end of all the flavors, can I add in a bit of spice to this? No, just let's not do that. Let's not do that. Why did I wait for so long to make this? I was waiting like it was a year or two or three years ago. And I keep it in the fridge. I think I can just leave it alone. Make it easier. It won't come out with it. The pattern is done. The pattern is done. Okay. You guys. I also forgot this. Pattern is done. Okay. Let's see. Even though oil is hot, I need to add a little bit of it to first taste. Just the oil. You can use the chopsticks also. Okay. Okay. When the chopsticks, I don't know if you can see or not, but when it starts sizzling like that. Can you see? Start by adding one ball, and I'm not going to put more than five. Since my uh, container is small, the vessel that I'm trying it in is small. I won't be putting more than five or six at a time. Let's do it. Yeah. It's done. See, it doesn't take much time because of the sugar content. It doesn't take much time, and that's why we need to keep the oil at medium. to medium low preferably medium so that the outside doesn't brown before the inside put it in a strainer it should look like this Okay, now how to store them? Once they are cool, which they are, store them in a Ziploc bag and into the freezer for six months. But I doubt they will last that long. But don't keep them in the fridge uncovered because it will, as they sit in the fridge, like a normal fridge, it will dry out. Okay, so this goes in the freezer. You can keep it like this, airtight. for 6 months